I'm gonna wait to go online and wait for people to show up so I can talk about this uh, story that just broke. Wow. Um, just when I was uh, uploading my video, I just get the notification of this. And um, hold on a second. Here we go. Um, I'm not kidding with you. Uh, so I just got this notification by Ringside News that Tony Storm, uh, we all know that when she made her debut, uh, a lot of people waited for her de debut on the main roster. Now she's gone from the WWE. And I will... Uh, Read you guys the uh, the notification that I got from Twitter here. So we know that 2021, uh, this year, I mean, one of the big things with WWE in 2021 is that they released a lot of talent. And I guess, you know, you could say this is the best for last, so to say. Um, short on our sap. Now, I'm going to get into... Um, All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go on Twitter here quick. So hold on just a second. And get, no, this is real. This is real stuff. This is not um fake news. You know, whenever there is uh, real stuff that comes in, I will talk about it. So Sean Ross uh came out with this uh, article about 10 minutes ago. Let me see if there's more stuff. Um, so this was around uh, 14 minutes ago. Uh, he's talking about still working to find out, which is why I worded it as gone from WWE. Um, this was an indication that somebody was getting released today. And then you find out that it's Tony Storm going from WWE. And this is what uh, the tweet says. Those that I spoke to, which uh, WWE believe Tony Storm asked for her release from the company, though I'm also making an effort to reach out to those close to her. Um, the memo that went out did not list budget cuts as the reason as has been tradition of late. And he confirmed the news with the company. Um, this was kind of like a, a reply from um, all of the stuff that we were just talking about here. So um, I'll get into all your questions um, <clears throat> momentarily, but that's what we know that she asked for her release, but we know that she is under the 90 day non complete non compete clause. Um, so that's what it is. Uh, she asked for her release, and um, I know there's going to be people out there saying, Oh, she's going to AEW. Um, this and that, blah, blah, blah. I, I'm not even going to get into that whole AEW shit. Um, but dude, holy fucking shit, man. Um, and there's people already saying that, you know, she's a get for AEW, that, that's truly nuts. And what is WWE looking for in talent? Well, I'll tell you this right now. 
they fucking um I'll tell you right now this. They just they're killing off everything that Triple H did for in the original NXT. That's what I'm telling y'all right now. That they're killing off Triple H's version of NXT and I really, I don't know, man. I mean, is she a get for AEW? Uh, Impact would benefit from it. Yes. But Ring of Honor, I, we don't know much about Ring of Honor going into 2022. Like, honestly, honestly, if I have to say there's another promotion out there, I'm going to say right now, it's definitely got to be Women of Wrestling. I mean, Women of Wrestling is going to try to launch next year. I would see her in Women of Wrestling. NWA would be another uh, destination for her. Um, It's just, okay, Cody Reigns is, uh, Tony Khan did not do the Busted Open interview today, so I'm not dropping that, but the other outlets that he did do his interview in, uh, I'm not going to drop that due to uh, copyright reasons. I don't want to get my channel flagged, but um, yeah. I, I mean... The thing about WWE, man, I mean, they they legitimately pass on a talent who could definitely lead an entire division. I mean, you look at friggin' Tony Storm's resume. Tony Storm can lead a women's division, but WWE chooses not to do that. Uh they choose not to freaking do that. And uh, I had one of my... Uh, I didn't watch SmackDown on Friday. I- I'll tell you all that right now. Because uh, it was Christmas Eve. Uh, I'd rather wa- spend Christmas Eve with my family than watch a freaking boring-ass two-hour wrestling show. But everybody was saying this. That, oh, it was over for her. Uh, yeah, she loses to Charlotte. Guess what? She ain't getting another opportunity ever again. And I'm going to keep saying it. WWE released her because she was a Triple H girl. Absolutely. And what have I been saying throughout this calendar year, you pencil nut geeks? That they're out doing everything that Triple H did with NXT. They're they're basically uh, destroying NXT. Why do you think Johnny Gagano is going to, uh, going to AEW? Why do you think he is going to AEW? They don't want anything to do with freaking... Um, he don't want anything to do with freaking WWE. I'll tell you all right now. They could release Candice LeRae. They could release... Um, Indy Harwell. And I mean, either way, I mean, with Sean Ross Sapp saying that she asked for her release, I mean, it's just a fucking terrible feeling knowing that you work for the biggest promotion in the world right now. And this promotion right now needs new women's stocks. I don't want to hear the fact that, oh, 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 um, hold on. Let me, um, take something out of my mouth. I just had a cough drop in there. But, um, this company needs new women talent. I don't want to hear about, oh, Look who they have down in NXT 2.0. Oh, 
You got Raquel Gonzalez. They got Dakota Kai. Um, they got Cora Jade. Um, they just had this new. Um, I don't even watch NSC 2.0 anymore, but I hear about it and stuff. They're not gonna be women's dogs. They're not. I'm sorry. You know that they have nothing for you. And Tony Storm, like I said, is going to find a job immediately. I think um, Alright, let me get back to comments over here. Um, Piper Neven was a Triple H project too. Yeah. Um, but Piper Neven came from NST UK. So, I could see, I mean, she could be gone in 2022. You never know. Uh, Pest, MLW. I'm not sure about MLW, to be honest. I think MLW, I know they had a women's division in the past. But, do I think um, she's good for MLW? I mean, if they do build a women's division out of it, yeah. Uh, Paige at Women's of Wrestling next year after her contract expires. I'll say this. Paige got to leave WWE. I mean, all of the stuff that I'm hearing about Paige, I mean, you know, she's trying to get back into ring shape. Um, you know, she's been hitting the gym, working out and stuff. I'll tell y'all right now. I mean, she could go to like any type of wrestling promotion out there, but I think women of wrestling made sense. Who do you see being released next? And do you see any debuts happening tonight? Um, God, uh, we're going to get into who I think is going to be released next. I don't think we're going to get any uh, debuts tonight on AEW. Uh, considering that it is going to be the last show um, of 2021, not to mention the last show um, on TNT before they move to uh, TBS next week. I think if they do something for TBS, uh, a debut, it has to be next week to make that show big. Um, Tony Storm is a Brit Baker, but they couldn't control her like other women. Uh, Shotzi Blackhawk was Triple H Project 2. She's definitely being released. I could see that um, happening. Uh, Santos Escobar, that's another talent I think that's going to be released. If they're taking down the Cruiserweight division, like, how stupid can you fucking be fucking taking the Cruiserweight division out of fucking NXT? That's another thing they're outdoing. Like, really, man. That's the thing I'm hearing, too, about Bailey. Bailey's returning as a face and winning the Royal Rumble. Uh, that's who WWE needs right now. Like, serious, especially on Monday Night Raw. Monday Night Raw, I mean, if, if Bailey wins the Royal Rumble this year, or I should say in 2022, then it, it it's definitely got to be Bailey. I mean, if I was a creative in WWE and I fixed this whole shit that WWE is doing right now, I would have Charlotte feud with Sasha Banks. And this is what WrestleMania I'm talking about. I would have Bailey feud with Becky Lynch. On the Monday Night Raw side of things. That's what I would do. Another victim of. Yup. Another victor of. Shot player. Dakota Kai doesn't want to be on the main roster. Because she knows what. Will awake her. Exactly. If you go to the main roster, you're pretty much done. 
And that's why I don't blame guys like Johnny Gagano and stuff. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Why Johnny Gagano wants to go to AEW. Because it's obviously true. It's true. Um, he'll benefit from AEW. I don't, I don't care about how people will say, oh, oh, he's going to get buried in AEW. Like, Tony Khan knows what the fuck he's doing with AEW. He knows how to fucking book things right. That's the same thing too, uh, Great Man Media. I mean, this will benefit Impact Wrestling, but does Impact Wrestling, I mean, <clears throat> would they sign her? I mean, another thing that I will say about Tony Storm, she can go back to um, Japan and wrestle over there or some kind of American wrestling promotion uh, before Women in Wrestling comes out. Because I know uh, her fiancé, uh, Juice Robinson, wrestles for uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling. And I know Juice Robinson wrestled with Impact Wrestling, too, um, this past year when they had the whole Forbidden Door thing. So you can't really you can't really say oh AEW immediately no 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 you still got other promotions out there and that's um one of them is uh, Impact Wrestling who said ROH doesn't have a future with all these potential talents to sign that's the thing with ROH because ROH right now you know they're in well, they're trying to figure out what they're going to do. Shayna Baszler, another one being released. She's a Triple H girl. I'll get to Shayna Baszler in a moment. Um, but but with ROH and shit, I mean, I could see ROH being more like what GCW is right now, trying to be more of an independent um, promotion, trying to figure out all of the stuff that they lost. They lost a lot of money. I mean, with Sinclair and all of that kind of stuff. Shayna Baszler, um, it's a damn shame what they did with Shayna Baszler, what they're doing with her right now. I mean, she comes into WWE, and this was before the pandemic ever happened. Freaking runs rough shot on Becky Lynch, and then all of a sudden, she's incompetent. Like you're putting her in there with fucking Nia Jax as a tag team. You can't fucking do that shit. Oscar too, yeah. Oscar, one of the most dominant women right now in professional wrestling. Uh, what's happened to her? Hold on a sec. I'm gonna get a drink. Yeah, one of the most dominant women's wrestlers in NXT. And now, all of a sudden, she's out for, like, what? She's been out, like, what? Almost an entire year? Like, she's got to go somewhere. Oscar's got to go to some promotion outside of the WWE. ROH will be more entertainment-based product in 2022. Um, no, Kyrie Sane left. Kyrie Sane basically took her freaking ball and left. You know, she wanted to be in uh, Japan. She wanted to spend all, like, she just didn't want to travel anymore. Um, from what I was reading, she wanted to go back to her home, to her home country just settle down there, you know, take a break from wrestling. She didn't get released. She asked, she asked to leave, and they gave it to her. Like I said, with ROH, we don't know what's going to happen with ROH in 2022. We don't know. Um, I'm hopeful that they do come back, get more like 
you know, but right now, I'll tell you right now, if they do come back, they got to thank GCW. You got to thank GCW. You got to thank all these independent wrestling promotions out there and say, hey, listen, I mean, what we did, we helped you guys out. You know, you look at Jonathan Grisham right now. Jonathan Grisham is defending that title in any freaking independent wrestling promotion out there, whether it's GCW, whether it's freaking Beyond Wrestling. Um, that's why I've been saying about Vince McMahon for years. Vince McMahon is a 76-year-old man. The guy doesn't know how to run a freaking wrestling freaking promotion anymore. Um, we already know what's going to happen when he retires. He's giving that shit to Nick Khan. Uh, and definitely they're going to sell it either to freaking what, Disney or freaking NBC Universal. Yeah, that's what I they're trying to do. They're trying to become their own 2.0. You know, they they lost about a hundred million dollars Ring of Honor. Um, to be honest, they did with Sinclair. Sinclair right now is one of the worst broadcasting companies out there right now. Uh, Sinclair not only like I mean Sinclair basically fucked everybody. I mean they fucked everybody from fucking Ring of Honor. Even their own fucking news talent. Even their own news affiliated markets. They fucked up so bad in fucking 2021. People say AEW because they're the only biggest they're the biggest big uh TV screen for real professional wrestling, which impact is too but on a bad cable channel, but hopefully it gets changed next year. Um, that's the thing too. Um, that's what they they're trying to do. WWE, WWE is really like I I don't want to hear this shit. That fucking oh WWE is releasing people because of fucking um budget cuts. It's not fucking budget cuts. Like how in the fuck are you fucking releasing wrestlers? On budget cuts, when you make a fucking billion dollars a year, your fucking company is what? In the fucking stock market, but you're fucking releasing talent. You know why they're releasing talent? They don't want to be a professional wrestling product. They don't want to be like an AEW. They don't want to be like what Ring of Honor was. They don't want to be an impact wrestling. They want a fucking channel to fucking families. That's what it is. You know, watch real professional wrestling, man. You know, that that's what fa people are fans of. They're not fucking fans of fucking... Um, <coughs> fucking a Mickey Mouse fucking organization. That's what the WWE is. They're a fucking Mickey Mouse organization. That's why I get all you fucking smocks, WWE smocks out there that fucking say, Oh, you're an AEW mock. Oh... You know what? Get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. For real. You guys are fucking clowns, man. That's what you guys are. Fucking clowns. ROH won't become WWE 8.0. That's what Impact is doing. <laughs> Impact has been like that for years, too. Um... AEW needs to buy WWE already. Um, I just would love to see fucking... You know what I want to see in 2022? I want to see AEW beat WWE in the ratings. Because it, it's going to fucking give Vince McMahon a fucking reality check. That's what it's going to do. It's going to give Vince McMahon a reality check. Like, you know what? People don't want to watch a fucking Mickey Mouse fucking wrestling organization. They don't. They don't. WWE is becoming a living parody of itself. South Park, what the fuck? <laughs> that shit funny to me. That shit funny to me. That shit funny to me. I heard Jake Atlas debuted on AEW Doc. I heard about that too. Um, 
Yo, what's up, uh, Sean? Um, I'm done with WWE for a while. I've been done with WWE for fucking a few years already. And that's because freaking Monday Night Raw, like, really fucking burned me out. Like, literally, that show burned me out. It's like, like, Monday Night Football. I wasn't going to watch Monday Night Football this past Monday because, what? You had fucking the Dolphins going up against the Saints. And you know how that fucking game went out. That game was trash. Yeah, that's another one. Um, Aliyah, uh, Aaliyah, however you like to call her. Aaliyah. Um, that's another name that's going to be released. This guy with the same thing, Otter 19. Um... Uh, uh, I get that Ring of Honor is going to be more of an entertainment based product. Um, exactly. That that's why I'm saying it too. Uh, she asked for her release because they know that they're going to fucking. She knew that they were going to get buried. I knew that they were going to fucking bury her because they fucking gave her fucking what? You fucking put her in there. With fucking, um, with Charlotte Flair, the fucking politician. I call her the politician of WWE. And I do, Natalia. If they release Natalia, man, that's a slap in the face because Natalia right there has been freaking, how long has she been with the WWE? She's been there a long time. She's been there a long time. And you're going to release friggin'. Natalia, but then again, you know what? She would deserve it because they fucking had, they freaking screwed with Natalia over the years. I mean, one of your most fucking decorated wrestlers, and all of a sudden, you know, she can't fucking get fucking anything. She can't fucking get pushed to being a fucking up into championship status. Exactly. Um, it's the exact same thing with all these fucking uh, YouTubers out there. They're coming out there and they're saying, oh, yeah, Bray Wyatt's coming back to the WWE. Um, isn't that the same thing that um, you said about CM Punk and what happened? CM Punk went to AEW. Um yeah, it's fucking clout chasers. That's what it is. It's fucking clout chasers. <clears throat> yeah, believe it or not, Zach, uh, you talk about old WWE legends would be disappointed. Get this. I read this earlier today. Superstar Billy Graham fucking what? They, they signed Superstar Billy Graham. They keep him on a legends contract, but you're releasing Tony Storm? WWE is making money, but it's spending more money. It's built on TV contracts and deals with foreign countries. It has eight wrestlers that make $2 million and more. WWE makes $6.5 million a month. All of Tony Storm Mike promos from Charlotte Flair, I felt her release coming either November or December. I felt her release. I'll tell y'all right now. Her release to me was fucking when all of these fucking wrestlers were coming out and getting released. I was like, Tony Storm's getting released sometime in 2022. But with this news, I'm like, you know what? Good for her. Good for her that she left the WWE. Hey, Yankee Messiah, WWE needs to bring back Lacey Evans. What do you think, Yankee Messiah? That's the reason why I watch Impact Wrestling because. Mickey James is at Impact Wrestling. Lacey Evans is supposed to come back. Um, if I'm going to say it, it's going to be the Royal Rumble. I think she's going to be one of the surprise entrants in the Royal Rumble. Um, I'll make a prediction on that right now. Um, if you see what she looks like right now, man. Damn, she got, she got jacked. I'll tell you all that right now. After she had a baby, she got fucking jacked. And I think she'll be back. 
she'll definitely be did not release some Lisa Evans. No way. NFC is better than half the superstars on the main roster, SmackDown and Raw. What are you talking about? I mean, NST freaking what? This NXT you talking about, Zach? Or the old NXT? Because the new NXT sucks. I, I, I'm saying that right now. They're hanging by a thread. Because you still got some wrestlers from 1.0 over there. Like fucking Raquel Gonzalez, Dakota Kai, and freaking Tommaso Ciampa. But, and you do have some, uh, okay, the old NXT. Exactly. The old NXT is way better than freaking Monday Night Raw and SmackDown. That's why I, I'll say this too. The old NXT, that was my go to brand. It was my go to brand before all of this freaking, before they decided to fucking kill it. You know, it was my number one brand. It was my most watched brand. And then all of a sudden, when they fucked up NXT, the old NXT, that's when I'm like, you know what? I'm done with this company. Like, that was the icing on the cake right there. Mandy Rose got so lucky because of her transformation. Um, true. True. They brought her into fucking NXT 2.0. And right now, she's part of a fucking stable. WWE is more like Enron than wrestling fans realize. It's a house of cards that needs... Hold on. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so um hold on. Um WWE might not even make it to the Royal Rumble with all the freaking releases they have been doing. Um they'll be fine. Like I said, that company makes so much fucking money, man. Like literally they'll be fucking all right. Solo uh, psycho fit that old NST professional wrestling style. That uh, I know who you're talking about um, with Tommaso Tampa, but I hate he wasn't there for the great moment NST takeovers. NST superstars got ruined in the main roster in SmackDown and Raw. If they're not lucky, Cross had so much potential. WWE would never be as good as AEW when it comes to building superstars. Hey, Zach, did you listen to the uh, Karrion Cross uh, all sessions? Um, that's something that I wanted to talk about, um, too. I, I didn't want to upload it on here because of copyright stuff, but, like, fucking Karrion Cross fucking buried WWE in that podcast. Um, when they when he found out about the, um, what was it, about the costume that he um, you know he could have been good for the um. He could have been good with uh, Roman Reigns and the Usos. Um, Solo Sakura. He could have been like the enforcer over there. Um, I would have loved to see that. I would love to see that him becoming the enforcer, like more like, you know. Being Reigns is like freaking bodyguard and shit. That would be fucking awesome right there.
I'll say it. The only good thing about WWE right now, um, and I will admit it, is the whole freaking Roman Reigns thing. That's it. That's the one thing that fucking interests me in that company. It's the whole freaking Roman Reigns, the family type of thing with the Usos. We need young people in booking, period. Nah, you need freaking writers that know shit about professional wrestling. That's what you need. You don't need fucking Hollywood fucking type of fucking writers out there because that's not going to work. In a company like that. It's not. Your freaking Hollywood type of fucking wrestlers out there, man. Like your Hollywood writers. That's what's killing your freaking company, man. That's what's killing your fucking company right there. It's the fucking Hollywood type of writers. Not these writers that know shit about professional wrestling and shit. Like, they can be that Tony Khan out there. But no, they, WWE chooses not to do that. Because what are they? A mixed wrestling organization. Well, uh, a Mickey Mouse wrestling organization. I'll take a couple more and then I'm, I'm out of here, man. Um, like, I got to rest my throat, man. And, you know... Just get some rest before AEW Dynamite tonight. Um, Tegan Knox also great friends with Tony Storm, so I'm pretty sure she's not surprised. Well, Tegan Knox is not with that company too anymore. Um, what about Liv Morgan, uh, Ciampa, etc.? Liv Morgan, man. If I'm Vince McMahon, I do not let fucking Liv Morgan go. Hell no. Liv Morgan, dang. People like her. People like her. I know she's not fucking. I, 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 I'll, I'll say this. And I know I'm going to be a little bit controversial here. What I'm about to say. I know she's not the big tit fucking blonde bombshell that Vince McMahon loves or what Vince McMahon used to like back in the Attitude Era, but they, she's got a great fucking body, man. They won't release Lynn Morgan. No way. Ciampa, that dude would fucking leave if he got called up to the main roster. Tommaso Ciampa's freaking professional wrestler. That's what he is. He's a... Uh, what I want to try to do, uh, he's asking me if I'm going to be live tonight. Um, what I'm going to try to do, I'm actually going to go on live tomorrow because maybe tomorrow night. Um, because what I want to do now is I want to talk about AEW. I want to do like my own podcast and talk about like AEW Dynamite and shit. Get into like the things that I like, the things that I didn't like. Um, overall show, and then make it, like, interactive. That's what I want to try to do. Um, that's, like, one of my new projects that I'm thinking about doing in 2022. Because um, my YouTube, it hasn't really been fucking... Um, I really haven't had a lot of traffic lately because of the Yankees, because of the Yankees and, you know, the Major League Baseball lockout and shit. Um, my channel was all about baseball, and then this lockout happened. So I'm trying to uh, trying to create things that I can fucking um, do to really keep my channel active outside of fucking baseball. I'm, that's why I've been doing more pro wrestling stuff lately. Um, and not to mention, you know, fan of YouTube, you know, him taking a hiatus. Uh, I wanted to be the guy that gave you all of the news and all of the opinions uh, in the world of professional wrestling. When I watch WWE, it's like a movie. It don't feel real anymore. I want to be able to get into the show and be like, oh man, these guys hate each other. 
That's the thing about WWE. I mean, the reason why I stopped watching, it, it felt like watching three hours of fucking Sesame Street. That's what it is. Three hours of Sesame Street, three hours of Bonnie and Friends. It, it's like fucking watching PBS for three hours. Like, dude, um, I did not want to wa fucking watch that shit on my TV. I want to watch something that's compelling, that's real storyline base. I mean, when I talked about Monday Night Raw on Monday, like the one cool thing that was really good was the Damian Priest and Dolph Ziggler fight. That was really my ultimate highlight. But the rest of the show, I hated. Next person to get released, Sasha Banks. I disagree with you on that, Zach. I disagree with you. Um, they won't let Sasha Banks go. No way. <clears throat> so I'm just going to do it right there, end it. Um, I've been on for like 40 minutes um, talking about this. Let me see what's going on on Twitter quick. If anybody's talking about Tony Storm again. Um, okay. Uh, Dave Meltzer just... Uh, he put a tweet out about a half an hour or so ago. Um, he's got more on the Tony Storm thing. Uh, definitely I'm going to listen to Wrestling Observer tomorrow. Um, that's one of the things that I'm definitely getting into. Oh! All right, Dr. Britt Baker, uh, she just put this on Twitter. Hold on, let me uh, get back to my sheer screen. And I want to show you guys this. Already, already you got an AEW talent already going in and saying, you know what, let's get Tony Storm. Let's wait until March 28th and bring her in for what? Double or nothing? There you go. Um, Andrew Zarian saying the same thing. Um, he heard the same thing as well. Tony Storm asked for her release. So, yeah, that's pretty much it um, when it comes to um, all of the storm, all of the Tony Storm stuff. So, um, if there's any more information about this, um, I'll definitely talk about it tomorrow. Um, till then, I got to rest my fucking throat, man. Um, talking 45 minutes about wrestling. I'm out. And I will see you guys um, in the next video, all right? Bye for now, friends.